Hi everyone. This week's book is titled The Spelling Bee Before Recess. It is written by Deborah Lee Rose and illustrated by Carrie F. Armstrong Ellis. Twas right before recess, about 1023, not a teacher was teaching, not even P.E. The students were squirming, but none made a sound as the spelling bee entered its championship round. From the whole school of spellers, we were down to just three, Cornelius, the genius, Smart Ruby, and me. Cornelius knew times tables up, down, and through. He knew all the state capitals, presidents too. Ruby played trumpet, she lived right next door. She's read at least 10 zillion books, maybe more. Kids called me slugger. I never struck out. I memorized the word list. I'd win this, no doubt. The first words were easy, like cupcake and spoon, turtle and sandwich, and brain and balloon. The next ones were harder. The words seemed to zing. I clenched both my fists. I took my best swing. Cornelius got out when he misspelled mysterious. That left Ruby and me. Things were getting more serious. We spelled reindeer and rumpus and llama and laugh, echo and gecko and ghost and giraffe. The sweat from my armpits were starting to show while Ruby looked cooler than new fallen snow. Back and forth, forth and back, we spelled penguin and ocean, icicle, bicycle, mischief and motion. The words flew like fastballs right over home plate, author, umbrella, pollution, equate. Word after word, we were in the ninth inning, one minute to recess and no one was winning. We're stuck at an impasse, the principal said. So I'm going to try something different instead. For the next word, your spell and tell what the word means. I groan. All I memorized wasn't worth beans. Sesquipedalian, the principal uttered. That's not on the spelling list, several kids muttered. I looked over at Ruby, who nodded her head. That's when I knew I had something to dread. Now the kids were all perched on the edge of their seats. It was my turn at bat. I dug in my cleats. He's got his fingers crossed. I don't know if that'll help. Sesquipedalian, that's S-E-S-Q. You I P E, I was more than halfway through. D and an A and an L I E N. Not quite, said Principal Woodsworth. Ruby, your turn again. I was out. I'd been benched. I felt like a jerk. Ruby rose from her chair and went straight to work. Her letters just floated like notes in a song. By the end, she had gotten not one of them wrong. Now, Ruby, please tell us just what does that mean? It means someone who uses big words. I turned green. Like a batter who hears the ump's cry of strike three, I slumped in my chair, hoping no one would see. Miss Wordsworth was beaming. Our new spelling bee pro is Ruby Melgoza, she said. Way to go. 
to the top of the school, maybe even the state. Ruby's shown us the meaning of how to be great. The recess bell clanged and kids sprang for the door. I dragged my feet gloomily over the floor. Then I heard the librarian calling my name. I knew she liked baseball. Hey, slugger, great game. But I lost, Mrs. Booker. Didn't anyone tell you? So you lost but not just because someone outspelled you. What Ruby knows best isn't just how to spell. She knows what matters is to use your words well. So in spelling and life, if you want to succeed, the best thing of all you can do is to read. As I ran to the playground, I felt nothing to fear till I heard her yell after, there's always next year. And that's the end.